purse. So I'm going to fly in here. I don't have my wallet, which means I'm out here riding dirty. But we didn't lost something. If you want something, you just have to go for it. You have to be subscribed to my channel. It could all be so simple. channel if you are new i'm nicole also known as cola cole i'm 39 years old nurse. i have no kids and i live in houston but i'm a travel nurse so who knows where you may catch me at right now we're in the north pole and if you don't believe me just wait two seconds boo things new day new week new vlog it is pretty sure it's thursday because i get paid tomorrow yeah it's thursday april 4th I hope the beginning of April has been spectacular for you. I hope you're already getting all of the things that you want, you plan, you worked hard for. And yeah, April for me, four days in, pretty good. I can't complain. I've already finished my fourth book for the year. Literally, it's done. I read... I put it on the community page. So if you guys don't ever check that community page, make sure you check the community page, interact, talk back with me on there. But what's the name of that book? It's the one by Kennedy Ryan. Um, I just don't understand. The older I get, the worse my brain gets. What is the name of that book? So the fourth book that I just finished reading is by Kennedy Ryan. It's called, <laughs> This Could Be Us. I keep wanting to say belongs to us. And that is not the name of the book. It's the second one in her series, which if that was the second one, oh, it did. It said it at the end of the book. Then the third one comes out next year. It's just about a group of female friends. So you get one friend in the first book, you get the second friend, of course, in the second book and the third friend, her book will be out next year. But if you're going to read them, make sure that you read them in order, because if you don't, it'll be kind of confusing with some of the stuff that they talk about in this one. This could be us if you don't read the first one. I really, 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 really like that book. Like, I need, you know what, no, Lord, you know what I need. I want a Josiah, like, really, really bad. I don't know if that's what's in the mixture of the man that the Lord has for me. But if I get some taste out, I want a Josiah. It is, y'all, it is 3.43 p.m. I just woke up. I think I probably got up around... My alarm clock finally went off. No, I lied. That alarm clock has been going off since 12.30. I have silenced it all day. I didn't get out of my bed until 2.30. So when I go to work, I have an alarm set for 12.30, 1 o'clock, and 2. Because I need to be leaving the house no later than 2.15. So even if I chose to snooze, I could at least get up at 2 and be out the house. So I snoozed the 12.30 and the 1. At the 2 o'clock, I woke up, but I laid in my bed for 30 minutes. So, I haven't been out of the bed for a whole hour yet. And I've made my coffee and turned y'all on. That is the most that I have done today. However, I did get groceries yesterday because I don't know if y'all saw the news. There's a whole Nor'easter happening, which is just basically like really bad snow, rain, that's occurring and because I'm in the North Pole I'm gonna get all of it it's it's no um they're talking about it right now that's why I'm staring at the TV let's look do you see let me hold on do you see this foolishness there we go do you see 
this foolishness. Like, when I went to bed last night at 3 o'clock, you couldn't even see that street. But, of course, because that's what they do in the North Pole, at some point, somebody came and cleared the streets so that, you know, regular, regular, regular life could continue. I'm just happy I didn't have to go to work today. Even if I did, I would just now be going because of the 3P to 3A shift. But I don't go back to work until Saturday. We're not going to do anything. We're not going to go anywhere because as you can see, that's what it looks like outside. And it's still snowing. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's not freezing temp. Like right now, it's like 34, 35 degrees. But at nighttime, of course, it's going to drop back down. So whatever's out there is going to freeze, which means my, my back porch is going to freeze. My steps are going to freeze. I guess I can put some clothes and go out there and put some salt on the steps. But I ain't because I'm just going to trust in the Lord that by the time I go to work on Saturday, it has melted. Because I don't want to shovel nothing. I don't want to slip and fall and break my neck on nothing. But I also don't want to go out there and put that salt on them steps. I just don't want to. So I'm just going to act like it don't exist. Tell me what you say now. Tell me what you say. You said that you would come again. You said that we would remain friends. But you know that I do not depend on nothing or Hold on, Aubrey. Yeah, what's up? What do you do? It's the next day. Happy Remy Friday. Today is Friday, April the 5th, I'm pretty sure. I lived through my first earthquake today. Now, at the time, I did not know that it was an earthquake. I just woke up to my bed shaking. And in my mind, I was thinking... Some of y'all may be able to relate y'all crooked. Y'all had a little sip already on Remy Friday. Um, you know how it is when you put too many clothes in the washing machine and the washer like physically spins, depending on what type of like house you in, you can feel it shake. In my mind, in my sleep, I'm like, somebody, my neighbor must have put too much in the washing machine because, you know, we share the washing dryer in the basement. And I, but then I was like, bitch, it's in the basement. It can't, like, it can't be. Like, why is my bed shaking? And then I went back to sleep like I rolled over. So when I woke up, social media told me that it was an earthquake in New York. And we felt it. It was like a little bit after 10 o'clock. And it all made sense. Oh, let's see. Get off my screen. Anyway. It is 5, 17 p.m. I'm going, I have to work Saturday and Sunday. So I'm going to get started on the food that I'm going to take to work. I'm going to make, and again, I'll put the recipes in the description box. Got them off TikTok. I think I got both of them off of TikTok. Um, it's just some muffins with a sausage link in the middle and then i'm gonna make my taco soup that's not off tiktok like everybody know how to make taco soup but i'm gonna make that for work and then i gotta figure out what i'm gonna eat for dinner and then that's it we're gonna chill out for the rest of the night i uploaded a video today so thank you guys for coming hanging out chit chatting with your girl spending time with me commenting in the comment section appreciate y'all for showing up and showing out and yeah so that's it i don't know I was going to go to Target, but it was snowing, so I opted out of that. However, I think I'm going to do a pickup for tomorrow because me and my friend Candice, did I tell y'all I finished the book? I think I told y'all I finished the book. I finished the book. So now we're starting on book number five for the year, and Candice and I are going to read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, I think. But yeah, it's at Target. It's not on my Kindle. And I'm extremely annoyed about the fact that it's not on my Kindle. But I can just get the book at Target. So I was going to go to the store and get that today. 
and spend my roommate Friday reading my book and sipping wine. But it was snowing, so we ain't got no book. So, yeah. I'm going to do this, get this cooking out the way, and then I'll pick y'all back up. And my neighbor, he jamming down there. Like, I don't remember it. Like, it sounds like, is it a sound bar in that apartment? Do y'all remember when I was downstairs when we first came? I don't remember no sound bar being down there. Maybe it was, but he jamming down there. Like, it's like we at Remy Friday because he is playing all of the jams. But I'm going to turn my own little jams on and get to cooking. Monday. Today is Monday, April 8th. It's the day of the eclipse. It's not snowing. It's not raining. It's not cloudy. The sun is out. I wonder if I'm, I ain't got no glasses though, so I can't stare up at it. But I wonder. I wonder, like, what am I going to get to see? Like, is it going to get dark, dark, like night dark? Like, what's going to happen? When is it going to happen? It's already 2.30 here on the East Coast. I need to go to Target, but I don't want to be in Target when it happened because I want to see something. Like, even if I can't look up at it, I want to see, like, the world get dark in the daytime for a couple seconds. Lord, don't take us out. Don't let this be it. Anyway, I just did a whole video. It'll probably be out before y'all get this video because I can put that out. I have a vlog because the last vlog that y'all got, I split that one in half because it was going to be extra long, extra long. So I split that vlog in half, but I think the little video that I just did, I'm going to put that out and then I got that vlog and then this will be a vlog. So. If you ain't seen them videos, make sure you go watch them. Thanks. Okay? So, yeah. I need to go to Target. I need... That's really all I need to do. I, I ain't gonna lie. I need to go to Target. We're off today and tomorrow. If, you know, per usual, we don't get to work an extra shift. And then we work... Today's Monday. We work Wednesday. We work Friday. And then I work... I think I'm on Saturday and Sunday. And then next week, we work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And Thursday, we're going home. We're going home for a week. And then we come back and we have like maybe two weeks. And then the contract is done. Like, that's been ran by real fast. Real fast, real fast. I'm excited to go home, though. Because it'll be... The second week of May when we go home. So I'm really, 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 really like working behind the scenes trying to get us to stay at home with work. I'm working on a few things trying to secure my hours basically so that we can stay at home. Also, today, April 8th. The day of the eclipse. You know what? I'm going to take in all of this energy because today has been really good. I feel really good today. We hit three k today. I'm not going to post it on social media because people subscribe and unsubscribe. And I told y'all this a while ago. Um, I feel like people are unsubscribing, but it's the people who join for my shower routines and my like swimsuit haul because that swimsuit haul that I did like two years ago that is my most watched video and then it's my shower routines <laughs> like those are always in rotation but 
I feel like people who watch just for that content are the ones that are unsubscribing. So I looked at my analytics a few minutes ago and it was exactly 3K. I'm going to give it a while before I post it. But I'm really excited for us. Thank you guys. And now we can actually do the giveaway. And look. We hit 3K doing a VIB sale so I can get a little 20% off on y'all gift. Look at there. Look, look at how things are aligning for us. Also, side note. <clears throat> I read this book the other night at work. I am really upset that y'all didn't make me read this book earlier. This, first off, it's a really fast read. I literally read it in like six hours. Like, I wish more inspirational slash self-help books were like this. Because this is a story, but the story gives life examples of the inspirational things that you should pull from the book. Not just, you should this you should that that's why I can't it's hard for me to read other self-help and inspirational books but yes I really 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 like this book and the one thing that I pulled from it is the biggest thing that I pulled from it is if you want something you just have to go for it the universe is not planning to kill your vibe you kill your vibe basically like if you want it just go after it be proactive and if you really want something then things will work out for you but if you don't if you don't put in the work then you get distracted along the way and you'll never do what it is you were supposed to do and i got a lot of stuff i want to do which is why i didn't woke up today and i didn't make a whole video i didn't make a tiktok alchemist i don't know but whatever it is i need to keep it going my coffee was trash though i'm real upset about that but i think i'm gonna actually pour it out and we're gonna start over it's because oh let me show y'all let's let's go in the kitchen okay so this this 10 out of 10 do recommend and this is the skinny like three-fourths cup only has 60 calories but it's black tea so it has a high caffeine percentage percentage of caffeine in it but more importantly it tastes good if you like chai tea whether you like your chai tea hot or cold because you can warm it if you like it hot I've been having it iced. What I've been doing is this. I've been taking the chai protein shake, all of this, and then I put like a cup of this in it and then um, some ice. And it is so, so good. But only if you like chai. So I jacked up my coffee today because I did a whole lot of coffee. And then I poured a little bit of this in there. And then I put some of this in here. And it was nasty. <laughs> so I'm going to pour that out. And I'm going to make this. Like, if it's not broke, what the hell are you fixing? So I'm going to get my life together and we're going to go run these errands. Tell me what you say now. Tell me what you say. You said that you would come again. You said that we would remain friends, but you know that I do not depend on nothing or no one. So why would you show up so uninvited? Then just change my mind like that. Please don't take this personal. But you ain't shit. I might come, I might go, I don't know. Um, we at Target. I think the eclipse is happening. 
I'm not really sure. <laughs> the sun right there. But it's cloudy. I can't see nothing. I don't know. At this rate, I might have missed it. I don't really know. But I remember my bags. See? 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 See how it just got dark? It's because it's cloudy. I might come. I might go. I don't know. Okay, one, two. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm taking three bags. I I shouldn't need to purchase more than three bags worth of stuff. Like, there's a bag and a bag. Anyway, moving on. Okay. Let's go in here. Get this stuff. It's, what time is it? Is it 3? Yeah, it's 3.30. I'm still drinking my chai tea and protein drink because my fasting window is 3A to 5P. So, I skipped my, I think I told y'all, I've been doing at home yoga and Pilates and I skipped my workout today because I was so excited to do my video. You know what? I think I skipped over the fact that I said we hit 3K today. See, this is how I know I need some medication. Because I don't think I finished the thought process when I said that. We can go ahead and do the... Can y'all see me? I feel like my head is cut off. I don't like that. Let that be light. There we go. Okay, so we hit 3K today. So we can go ahead and do... I got to take this out of my ear because I feel like I'm yelling. We're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and give the qualifications for the 3K giveaway. You have to be subscribed to my channel. You have to have liked or commented a video before this one. And I have access to that. So I can see every heart that you didn't gave. And I can see every comment. And I know everybody don't always comment. Because I watch people's videos and I don't always comment. But if I watch it, I'm going to heart it. Because I watched it. To each his own, everybody grown. But I'm going to look at that. That's a qualification. Um, and then they're going to be three questions that you have to get correct and if you want to throw a little razzle dazzle on it you know you could um tag your girl in a instagram post of something on the channel you know do a little screen recording or something like that on your ig that's not a qualification that's just a little razzle dazzle if you want to but the three questions are what happened at the hospital when i was there with my mom the night of her surgery something happened something and I guess I need to be specific what happened in the hospital the night my mama had her surgery two what did I name my truck when I bought it I bought it almost a year ago what did I name her and three where did I go on my last international trip yeah, some of y'all gonna some of y'all might have to hunt for that third one. But that's the whole point. You either then showed up and then came real familiar with your girl, or you've been here and you tried and true. So, what happened at the hospital the night my mama had her surgery? What did I name my truck that I just bought a year ago? And what was my last international trip? See you in the comments. I don't have my wallet. I don't have my wallet, which means I'm out here riding dirty. I ain't got no driver's license. I ain't got no debit card. I ain't got no credit card. I do have Apple Pay. Let me see how much is on my Apple Pay. Good morning. It's the next day. I didn't, I done absolutely nothing yesterday when I got back from 
Target. And I didn't even talk to y'all when I was in Target because I was on the phone with Shaw the whole time. But it's the next day. And did I wipe my face? I don't even know. Because I'm about to do my Pilates and then take a shower and then do some other stuff. But I wanted to come on here before I got my life together to show y'all something. Look at this. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see these beads? Y'all remember when I got... I had the black one on at home before we came back out here. And do y'all remember it was sitting up here? And now, do you see this? I don't know what I weigh. I don't know how many inches I done lost, but we didn't lost something. These, in this one, it's like, I could take away, I don't even know if you can see, I could take away that much extra. But this black one though, but this black one. This black one was sitting up here when we left Houston. And that's been four weeks ago. And now it's, it's down there. Okay, I hope when I go back and edit that, that y'all can actually see that. And it's not too much. It's just like if I had a bathing suit bottom on. But I just wanted y'all to see the progress, okay? trying to remain consistent because usually once you see progress that's the motivation so i'm gonna do my little pilates floor workout because <laughs> we ain't going to the pilates place and use i don't even know the name what they call them reformers yeah i don't even know we ain't doing none of it we're getting on the floor we're using our mat that we bought at target and we're gonna do this little yoga off of youtube and i plug her in the description box down scared down scares get it together i will plug her info in the description box down below and i'll call y'all back don't mind this i'm gonna take this to the garbage outside but before i go down into the creepy scary basement because it's actually 63 degrees today in the north pole i'm thinking i'm thinking about sitting on the porch and reading my book like i was gonna sit on the patio uh, well for those of you who have seen it you know i come up the stairs and then there's a little patio and there are two chairs but honey the sun is beaming right there where them two chairs are at and i can't do it because i'm gonna be the color of this t-shirt but the porch is covered so i'm gonna see what it look like what it feel like when i go downstairs to put the stuff in the washer at the creepy scary basement and if so, then I'm going to sit out there and I'm going to read this book. This is actually the fourth book. I have to remember. Did I show it? I showed it to y'all yesterday, I think. The Alchemist, I read that like in six or eight hours. So this is actually now the fifth book. So we're on the fourth month. Yeah, we're on the fourth month for the year. But I'm on my fifth book because I flew through The Alchemist. And this book, I'm going to put it on the community page. I'm going to actually do that today. Oh, yeah, I posted a video today. I posted a video about dating in your 30s and 40s in 2024. And it's just stuff that I have learned that I wanted to share about myself and about me. And so shout out to y'all. Destin, I already showed up, showed out, commented on the video already. And if you haven't seen it, finish this one, like, comment, and then go watch that one. Okay? Okay. But, yeah. So I'm going to start this book today and I'll remember to put it on the community page for anyone who is looking for a book or who's also trying to keep up with me with, with just decreasing screen time and doing something else. And for me, the something else is reading. Okay, moving on. Yesterday at Target, we spent $148.13. And remember, I, I, didn't, I didn't have a debit card, a credit card, or a driver's license because my little wallet was in my work bag and I didn't take, I forgot to take it out. So thankfully, we had the Apple Pay. And the most expensive thing that I purchased yesterday was a button up shirt that was $25. The least expensive thing was some paper towel that was three dollars and 49 cent everything else ranged in between and other than these clothing pieces that i'm going to show y'all i literally bought i bought 
some toilet paper, some paper towel. Um, I know I got a cucumber, so I can make my cucumber and tomato hot girl summer salad. I got a bag of frozen shrimp because I can always eat that, whether I eat that on like the little zero calorie tortillas or, honey, I can just eat the shrimp, like saute them in a pan. I did get a can of... They didn't have Pam, but this is basically the same thing, non-stick cooking spray, because this is zero calories. And that's what I'm just basically trying to do is decrease my calories and or eat better by eating out of the kitchen. But for work this week, I'm not cooking because we leave leaving next week. So I'm not buying a whole bunch of groceries this week. When I go to work tomorrow, I'm going to eat either eat Subway or Chipotle and same thing when I go on Friday. No, yeah, on Friday. And I'm going to work extra Saturday night because somebody wants to be off. And the manager said I can work for that girl Saturday night. But it's only 8 hours instead of 12 hours. So I'm going to work extra Saturday night from 11P to 7A. Be off Sunday. Then work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then we go home Thursday for a week. See how I just got off track? Focus. Okay. So yeah, um, I just got a few, literally like a few things. What I, oh, I got my vitamins. I got um, the Ollie multi, the women's multivitamin. And I got the Ollie extra strength sleep gummy. And the rest was these few little clothing pieces. And the clothing pieces, the most expensive one is the button up is $25. The other ones were $5. And then I got some stuff for Kennedy because I couldn't help myself. So starting this um, little tube top here. Now, if the Target in the North Pole has this, I know your Target has it. It's literally, it's just a basic crop. And I'm so excited about it. It was $5. It was $5, okay? And they had it in multiple colors, but I was trying to chill. I wasn't trying to do too much when in reality, I wanted to get one in every single color, which now that I think about it, I'm probably gonna do it because why not? They're only $5. But I didn't do it yesterday. I only got this one in black. They did not have a white one in the size that I wanted. And all of the shirts that I got for myself, I got a 2X. And you see how this fit. Like, here's my belly button right here. And this is how it fits. So, there's that. I got a cropped tee. This is a 2X. This is gray. I got the same thing in white. 2X. And then I got, I should have got a white one, but again, and again, I'm trying to get basic stuff I can wear on its own or throw with something because I can't be all summer talking about I ain't got nothing, I ain't got nothing, or just, I ain't gonna never not wear my sundress. I just want something that I can wear in addition to my sundress in the summer. So, yeah. And then, oh, this I only got in a large because it's so big. It's literally just a loose fitting button up because you can do any, any and all things with this. So, I mean, if I really wanted to, it fits so big. This could be a dress. Roll up the sleeve and put a sandal on with it because it's so big. Like, put, hell, put one of these on, leave this kind of partially unbutton at the top, put a sandal on right now if, like it's 63 degrees, but 62 degrees here and 63 degrees in Houston are two different temperatures. So if I still felt a breeze outside, like I could throw this on over it and still be cute cash, which is, which is what I'm going for. Unless I have a, a reason to razzle dazzle i'm not razzle dazzling like i don't want to look a hot mess but i do want to look cute and put together because <sighs> honey barbara taught me do not go out the house without your makeup on do not go out the house with your hair not somewhat put together and my mama is how old are you barbara 60 i think she'll be 65 this year and honey she's still stick to that see how it fit cute right okay so yeah that's what i got for me i'm hungry is it my fasting time oh lord it's only two thirty. i need to drink my i ain't had nothing i ain't had nothing but water that's the problem 
focus Nicole okay and this is what I got for kindog we got a bunch of new boo things in the building welcome thank you for joining I hope you enjoy feel free to tell a friend tell a family member share on your social media because we're trying to grow the family over here um Kennedy is my god baby she is five and she is very much involved in the channel so when i get back to houston don't worry you will meet her i'm pretty sure she thinks that this is her channel so i got her i couldn't help myself guys she loves mermaids and isn't this the cutest little thing it's funny because as i was holding it up a lady walked by and she was like it's cute but i don't think it's gonna fit and i was like yeah unfortunately but isn't it the cutest little thing She's going to be so excited. Like, she's going to feel like we need to go to the pool. Like, instantly. The second she sees it, she's going to be ready to go to the pool. I got her this little jumper. It's so little. And it's got a pocket. Look at there. It's cute. It reminds me of jumpers that I had as a kid. I love it. Shorts. And then just some biker shorts to put under her dresses her dress is in her skirt so literally just biker shorts she puts her mama puts these on under all of her skirts and her dresses and that's it but now when we go home i'm gonna have to remember because i don't take my suitcase why am i sweating it's fucking hot it's hot it's hot out there i want Ain't no scrapes on the window. If I let it up, the bugs are gonna come. But it's hot. Right. Hold on. Y'all know that's gonna bother the shit out of me. Because I don't do bugs. So I'm gonna fly in here. Yeah. I'm gonna have to call y'all back. I gotta figure something. Ooh, but the breeze do feel good. Why are there no screens? Help me, help me. Ooh, what a will be looking for me.